Greetings, as you can see my table is full and I'm going to show you how to make one of these things today called a bench bar stool. Uh, all you need is simple tools, rubber mallet, a knife, and some chisels. Oh, you need a log round and some sticks too, but hey, you know what? What's with the details? <laughs> all right, let's get going. All right, here, before we start going into making it, I'll show you what the, you know, brief rundown of everything you need, or how it's made, really. Uh, so you have a, this is a leg, you just carve, carve the end of the leg to a square or a round or however you want to do it to fill a hole that you've dug into this, the seat itself, the seat bottom. Then you just take the, the peg, throw it in there, tap it in, And it's and it's pretty solid. Put it down there, and there you go. Decent little seat. There's no glue. There's no mechanical fasteners, and you're ready to rock and roll. All right. First thing is, you take your log around here, right? And this isn't cut very straight. I mean, it's not necessary, right? You can tell. It's a little bit lopsided, a little wobbly. Well, that's all right, it's just a lot of ground. You're only gonna sit at it at a campfire or around a camp table or whatever. And it's just something that you make real quick. It takes about half an hour to make it. So anyway, first things first, you're gonna take take a marker of some sort. I use, a, I use this. I'm gonna tap the center of all the holes. I'm only gonna make three holes. So I'm gonna put one there, one there, and one there, right? There we go. So that's where that's where the legs are gonna start. And then I just go around and I make make them square. And you want them. be angled outward a little bit so when the leg comes in it's not going straight up and down it's not going like that you want it to angle out so we dig in towards the center not very not a very difficult job and with just tools that you find at a garage sale or a yard sale or whatever you call it you will be able to make this You don't, need, you don't need to make special tools. And there's, a t there's a thousand easier ways to do it. But this is the way I do it. Because it's really, it's really simple. I want to go in about an inch and a half deep. And call it a day. And it takes about half an hour to dig all the holes. If you have a nice sharp chisel. This one seems a little dull. No, that's okay. We'll get the smaller one out. And nothing has to be perfect because what I do is I carve the handles to fit the holes, right? That's all there's to it. So I'll be quiet now and we'll get rocking and rolling on this.
granted this would be a lot easier if I used a, a drill bit or something, but this is what I have on hand, and this is what I've been making the others with, so we'll use it. Nothing has to be precise. It's not like it's going to be inside someone's living room. It's just going to be outside. And to measure how deep it goes, I just use this right here. If it goes up to about the corner on that chisel, I say good enough. And I got this chisel from someone's throwaway box at a yard sale. So, didn't cost me anything. Pretty good find, I think. All I had to do was put an edge on it. And it was ready to rock and roll. Right, this is almost deep enough, but... I'd like to have it a little bit more squared up. Just gotta dig this down just a little bit deeper in there. The thing is, is you still want to have some sort of flexibility so as it dries and ages, it doesn't get brittle quite so fast. Dude, these will, I don't, I don't finish these seats in any sort of way. I just let them kind of rot outside because, hell, maybe an afternoon to make four of them so I don't really care too much and I'm just using my crappiest tools that I have because I don't I don't mind uh, using them as pry bars and stuff so you can do it with anything really it just needs to drill a hole and carve a hole Jeez. This like must be August 9th. And these bugs are just going crazy. At the end of their life cycle. Party up while you can. There's our hole that we carved right in that log round. It goes in towards the center. And now we're gonna take a stick. This one looks good. We're gonna carve this down into a nice little square to fit inside the hole. Now to use to, to carve this stick, I'm gonna use this knife that I made. I forged this knife as for a competition that I had with a Connecticut bat country. And we haven't quite come up in the, into a conclusion about who won or lost that challenge yet. Uh, this one had a crack in it that started right here. If, you, if you've seen that, if you've seen that video, you know it came out to be like an, a little clip point Bowie. And uh, it survived the testing and everything, but it didn't hold a very, sharp edge it kind of rolled a little bit by the end because so I had it at a 17 degree angle instead of a 20 or a 22 which really should have had it at with uh, the steel that I used I mean, I mean I quenched it in well it doesn't matter what I quenched it in it wasn't hard enough to, to handle that edge so at 22 degrees I think it's sharp it's hard enough to, to handle a 22 degree edge but anyway so mine rolled and I had a crack in it so I thought I lost Gary's first knife broke so that would mean that would have meant he lost but 
he persevered and he made a second knife which was well beyond this this one I mean it was much nicer so I consider that a win he thinks he cheated I think he followed his rules and there's no rule saying you couldn't make another one I was just too lazy to make another one so I give him the win and then he decided to give me the win so we'll have to figure it out I'll, I'll post a link to that in the description below this video and uh, you can decide for yourself and I think we're going to uh, come up with a second challenge to do to to end all the disagreement. But anyway, so I'm going to use this camping knife that I forged, and we're going to try and uh, carve this pole to go into my my hole that I just dug out. Let's go for it. All right, so I know how deep the hole is, so I'm just going to mark this pole. Right about here, and just go around it with the knife and carve it out. Shouldn't take too long. It's not a very hard task, but we want to we want to do it kind of snug. And the problem that I have automatically with these is I just cut these these uh, branches and stuff yesterday. So that means they're green still, so they'll shrink a little bit with time, which is fine. Because I can always go back in, you know, next spring and make some shims to fit up in, in the next to them. Right? Right. I'm not, I don't know. You may not know this, but I'm not too fussy about my outdoor seating. It just has to hold my fat butt. <laughs> Which you may not have noticed, but I've also, I've already lost 15 pounds. So, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Feeling a little weaker though. But that's okay. The, uh, the restricting, restricting uh, calories, just no good. I hate it. But... You can't slim down and still eat like a pig. And there we go. Almost there. Now I just gotta slim it down. I think this is... Yeah, that's the width I need. So I just gotta do this side and the opposite side. fun little project to do in an afternoon and I was I started them with my kids thinking hey they might enjoy this go, come on almost almost there's a thousand better ways to do this but if you have no specialized tools and all I have is a knife and a chisel just grab a stick. You can use the leg from uh, <laughs> another leg that you cut. You can use that as a hammer to hammer your chisel or however you want to do it. I mean, the best thing about making your own stuff is you get to be as creative as you want. There you go. If you hammer the wood in, you can see the marks on it where it needs to shrink down. That's kind of cool, right? There we go. And there we go. Eggs in place. Nice and sturdy. Come right out. There we go. Okay, there we have it. 
have it. We have this one leg in, and now all I have to do is two more, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So uh, I will get, I'll get on that, and I'll bring you back when it's done and show you how it works. down here all right there we go let's try it out Moment of truth. Moment of truth. <laughs> Feels pretty sturdy. But there's one more thing I want to do to it. The problem I have with this particular log seat is there's a bunch of rotted spot spots right around this edge. So I'm just going to chip those away. Then once I do this, I can round off these sharp edges. having all that rot right there. I want to have some clean wood. Then maybe I can, I might finish them. I don't know. I don't put a lot of work into these because they're just going to sit outside. They're going to rot no matter what. Yeah, I, I do believe I'm going to have to shave off that hard corner. Oh well. Better than sitting on rot. <laughs> Stool's done. I can sit in it. And I can just take this, round off these edges so it doesn't hurt my sensitive behind all right well there we have it got my uh, log stools done I need to do one more but come on man there we go there goes the splinter <laughs> I need to do one more but they seem to be holding my weight I mean they're not comfortable I mean but they're a bar stool so I mean there's I like I like that I'll lean back have something to support my weight but for something that's just to sit around a campfire or sit around my table that I work on over there I think it's more than more than sufficient and it's super easy to make all you need is someone to cut you a log round or do it yourself take down a, a couple of branches or something or whatever you need to do carve a hole carve a stick throw it in the hole and there you go you got you got a stool. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and uh, make sure to go check out Backcountry Connecticut's or Connecticut Backcountry's uh, video down below in my description to show his portion of the knife challenge. Uh, I think, I don't know, I hope you guys see it my way and convince him that he's won because my knife, this knife here, Although it stays plenty sharp now, doing all those, doing all that carving, I mean it still shaves and everything. But during the test, I had it at too uh, too small of an angle. I had it like 17, 16, 15, 16, 17 degrees of an angle, and it just the edge rolled. It just was not hard enough to hold on to that angle. And there was a crack, and I had to cut it, cut it to make it look somewhat usable as something similar to a knife so I don't know even though his broke and he made him he made a second there was nothing in our rules that said you couldn't do that so give him the win give him a couple of looks 
a couple of views and see what you like because he does a lot of cool stuff. All right. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.